Um, we have somebody from the Delphian School. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, but his first name is Sha Win. The last name, if I was going to give a guess, would be Lertzaknet. And uh, he's going to be sh doing some paintings. He's got four paintings. And he also has a sketchbook that he's going to put on display, oh, which great. I thought was kind of a neat for oh, a three-dimensional sure. art piece, just something that he's done. Yeah. Um, from MACA, McMinnville Media Arts Academy, uh, Lindsay Lures. And she's doing, she's the only one that we have that's going to be doing some photography. Okay. Um, Jordan Johnson, who is from Yamhill Carlton. I don't really have much um, information on her on her mediums, but I believe that they are mostly two-dimensional. Um, from Amity School District, we have Mayra Garcia, and she is doing drawings and paintings. And then from Mac High, we have Hannah Patty. So all seven of those students have been awarded $100. They've given the opportunity to not only display to learn how to display and how to go through the process. And then, you know, they get a chance to talk with all of the professional artists that are there. So it's a really wonderful opportunity for oh, them. Sure. Um, I think some of them will be selling their pieces, uh, mm -hmm. not all of them. But uh, it's it, this is brand new. It's an opportunity to make it all part of the Art and Mac idea. And also we did get some money from the Yamhill County Cultural Coalition. Great. And that was gave us our opportunity to really go out and include all the schools in mm -hmm. the county. So I'm pretty excited about that. I think that the kids will be excited. I think it will add to the dimension of the whole um, art fair, the idea of an art fair. And I'm hoping that we will get quite a few high school students maybe even coming in that are might not have been there, but they might be friends of the artists. Mm -hmm. So That'll always be, you know, an addition. Yeah, it's great exposure, and also it's great for people who may be coming from even out of the area with their folks to see, hey, look what they're doing there, you know, because mm -hmm. that's not necessarily a usual component of an art fair. I think that's probably be pretty unusual. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as we were talking before, you know, art, art is one of those things that is cut from school budgets. Absolutely. And the opportunity to do art in our community is limited, although, mm -hmm. you know, we certainly have drawing classes in our classes, but parents who are busy and children who may not be able to afford it can't go out and actually have this That's experience. True. It's really left up to volunteers or parent-teacher associations. So we still have some very dedicated art teachers in our school district, and that's we're very, very fortunate to mm -hmm. have that. And they did, and they actually, you know, to get this all organized, I have to give kind of a call out to them too, because they were willing to take the extra time. This is not a curriculum engaged thing. It's, sure. you know, taking the extra time to get somebody to do some extra work mm -hmm. or encourage kids to do extra right. work. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Next year, I'd like to have all nine schools. Then, and the Japanese school, I'd like yeah. to have that too, and um, that's kind of our goal. We'll have to go to three tents by then. So you, <laughs> so you have every intention of really growing this aspect of the of the. I event. I would certainly like to encourage mm -hmm. it because I think, like you say, there's so many, there's so few places where art can be encouraged on this level. I mean, they get to a point where. You know, no matter how much talent a kid has that you see when they're very young, they just hit against a wall of not really learning anymore or not mm -hmm. having that challenge, mm -hmm. you know, channeled into actually learning how to do artwork rather than just the talent for it. So I think this will help. I think it will put it out there for the community. And I think the community will really appreciate the fact that this is an all-age thing. And, you know, we didn't really talk about this, but our, we are having kind of like a demonstration tent, aren't we? And I was going to ask about that. That will be, Good. you know, Bill, Bill knows a little bit more of that, but that's another opportunity for uh, people to come together and uh, see how artwork is done, including young people. So I'll let you talk a little bit about yeah. it. Yeah, in fact, I think what Jill brings up and what she talked about was, of course, with the kids and the community, our whole thinking since we began this you know, four years ago, mm -hmm. and particularly I think it's grown into this year, has been the idea of creating something, an event for the community, something that people can not only uh, come and view and see and purchase, but participate in right. and learn from. And like with the, uh, the kids from the schools, uh, they're learning all about what is it really like to be a professional artist today? Mm -hmm because all the artists I know started off doing this sort of thing. Ex exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, Mike Santanae has, has done a wonderful job uh, setting up the demonstration area. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have demonstration area, and I think uh, he was with me on the last show and talked about the various 
uh, painting and felt work mm -hmm. and even cooking, I heard him say, even though <laughs> I've, I've not uh, followed up on who's going to be doing that. Uh, he said it wasn't going to be him, so <laughs> I don't. We're safe a, there. A guest chef to be a, announced, a, a, right? To be announced, yeah. yes, okay. to be announced. So he's done a wonderful job, and I have to thank the Art Alliance of Yamhill County mm -hmm. because they uh, gave a grant, a stipend grant, so that Mike could give each of these participating demonstrators something for their time because I think they need to be recognized and oh, say, absolutely. look, you're a professional, let's do that. So sure. AAYC, the Arts Alliance, uh, we want to thank them because they also helping us really make this a community learning mm -hmm. event. And um, like I said, that's what we've been trying to do. Uh, yes, it's a fundraiser for McMinnville Sunrise Rotary, uh, and someday we're going to make some money on it. Not this year. I've seen the budget. <laughs> <laughs> we're working up to the money thing. We're working up to make some money on it. But you yeah. know what's great is that you have the commitment to mm -hmm. do the event and, you know, assume that the if you build it, they will come mm -hmm. idea that you do. You, pr you start producing this and eventually it will become a fundraiser. Right. I, I like that attitude and, a lot. And moving it to Linfield, mm -hmm. I think, was just really key. It's not that we want to separate from Turkey Round. We're doing no. it on the same weekend, but actually getting it off-site has allowed us to get a, a much larger venue. Sure. That like that whole shaded venue thing and the and the food and the wine tasting is all going to be just a total experience that I think is going to be very good. Well, and, uh, yeah, for sure. And, you know, as far as the fundraising, you know, we do a lot in the community. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the funds that we do raise go to community for community scholarships. We also work on community projects. That's one of the things that Sunrise Rotary really likes to do. We like to be working in the community. Um, we work in the soup kitchen. and Some of our, me our members every month go to the soup kitchen. We have been instrumental in helping do the plantings out at the Joe Dancer Wetlands mm -hmm. and maintaining that. In fact, two weeks ago, we were just out there pulling weeds and spraying weeds. And um, a lot of little projects. We've helped with fence building, Henderson skate park house. building. I was going to say Henderson house. house for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. just a lot of things because I th most of our members really like the hands-on thing mm -hmm. as well. And it's fine to be <laughs> That's <great>. doing scholarships <laughs> and handing them out to them. But we, we really like to get in there and actually mm -hmm. it, it brings us closer as a club. And, uh, yeah, we have a lot of fun with that. And, mm -hmm. I, and I think that, you know, and once the planning's done and the event started, we're going to have a lot of fun with this because I think we're going to have a huge... Um, the reception is going to be very good in McMinnville for this type of event. Yeah. One of the things I love about your club is that you all do seem to enjoy each other's company so much. And it, it really does feel like there's a lot of camaraderie there when I've attended some of your meetings. Mm -hmm. And I think this is just a great group and seeing you working, mm -hmm. you know, for some of the Henderson House projects. And everybody's, mm -hmm. in, is, you know... Nine o'clock in the morning, and everybody's happy. And I think seven o'clock. Seven o'clock in the morning for meetings, <laughs> for sure. But it's obviously a group that really likes each other. And I think that's that's. Mm. I mean, there, there's that feeling that it's difficult to fake. Yeah, well, you know? it's kind of a balance. I mean, we mm -hmm. we do some of these small projects, you know, two or three hours on a Saturday morning, mm -hmm. maybe, you know, two or three, four times. A, uh, then we work on the, you know, scholarships, you know, to go to the students. Then we're also involved with some international projects. So it kind mm -hmm. of is a, 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 a mixture of things. But, you know, it, it allows us to keep... You know, keep keep the interest alive, and you know, knowing what we're doing in the community, you have sure. to have that sense of what, mm -hmm. of 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 accomplishment in the area that you live in. Right, and, and, I think and what you're working toward. Be, right, right, and you know, some people say, oh no, another wine event, another <laughs> art event. But no, I wouldn't know anything about really, that. <laughs> Yeah, this one is really going to be unique. Yeah. I think just because of the venue and outside, it's going to. It's. I think it's going to grow to be a really, oh, I think really so nice, nice event. And at 50 artists or something, that is already. That's that's a lot of tents. That's, that's a, a lot, lot of. of I mean, I think there'll just be aisles, and people will be just amazed at how much we've brought down there. And one of the things that's true too is, I mean, in order to get artist participation. 
You have to keep them happy. You know, and a cool, comfortable, well-watered artist is, <laughs> tends to be a happier artist than one that's, you know, sweltering on the melting, bubbling tarmac, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's true. Next to the rides or, exactly. or, the, or the elephant ears. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, I, I must say that one of the compliments we've gotten every year is just the thing you brought up. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll let our artists know in advance that we'll be looking after them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that we do just that because we want our artists to want to come back. Mm -hmm. We want to make it a successful event, not only in dollars for them, but so that they can relax and enjoy it. And what I've always loved is that so many of our artists are working while they're there. Right. You know, they're setting up their mm -hmm. easels, they're uh, throwing a pot, they're drawing, they're sketching. Whatever they're doing, they're working as they're selling. Mm -hmm. And I think that's part of that environment. You know that that people truly enjoy. You know it's kind of interesting because we were we were talking to Kathleen Buck. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know if she's part of this event or not, but mm -hmm. it, we were interviewing her for Art Harvest, and she said it's so nice to be able to work during a show because otherwise, you know, oh, you're just right. kind of sitting there really waiting for people to come by, and mm -hmm. you feel like, gosh, I could be doing something else. So having the opportunity, you know, to be able to work. Is, is mm -hmm. wonderful also because it makes the time go. And, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. and Kathleen will be with us. Okay, and, good. And uh, Mary Sayers, if you know Mary, mm -hmm. she is the Mary Artist right? Shop. Mary's oh, going yeah. to be there. And we're bringing back many of our artists from before. And um, we're really looking forward to blending it. Mm -hmm. you know, I think it's, it, yeah, it's quite it's, the event. We're really looking forward to it. Great opportunity. It's a big endeavor, lots of work on everybody's part in the club, and um, yeah, we're just uh, <laughs> in, going well, to enjoy seeing it unfold. <laughs> well, I think one call, oh, there's some of the art showing there. Oh, that's pretty but, colorful. Uh, I think one call out that needs to be done too is Kelly Menke has acted as the chair for the major committee that's bringing everybody together. Mm -hmm. And I think if Kelly has another meeting on this, she'll probably kill herself. <laughs> but she has worked like a true beaver to, um, to make all of us do what we need to do. Well, I think I can say this with certainty, and that is that no event of this size or any successful event can ever come together without an awful lot of people, mm. you know, working together and really putting in you know, sort of an inordinate amount of time and energy. <laughs> and so there's that piece of you that's like, oh, three more weeks. And then one's spouse says, oh, three more weeks. <laughs> because, you know, I mean, it is a lot of time. Yeah. It's a lot of work. It's, it takes a lot of time. And, yeah. Well, you know, Dudley Frost is uh, one of our members. He's great. And Dudley is, uh, yeah. uh, has a program called 222. Which right, means, right, right. I can't read right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> which Dudley okay. usually comes into our meeting wearing a wearing tutu, his tutu. Oh, perfect. And tights, which you really don't ever want to see. This is why you like coming to those morning meetings. That's meeting. right. Yes, the tutus so next tights. time you see Dudley, do mention or ask him about mm -hmm. his tutu. But his tutu, too, are two folks having their partner, two people doing two shifts. I love it. That type of thing. And, and that's uh, what it so, takes. Yes, yeah, so we've yeah. got uh, uh, our spouses working with us. We've got... Uh, Actually, we have some volunteers from the community, and if anybody would still like to help, believe me, we can always use more volunteers. Yeah, we could. That would be a good room good for everyone. Plea. Yeah, that would be room a good for plea. everyone. And you can go to our Gmail account. It's Art and Mac at Gmail. You know the rest. You know the rest. <laughs> well, I really want to thank both of you for being here today. We're just, just about out of time, and um, I really wish you a lot of success with this. Thank I can you. hardly wait for this event. It's going to be really exciting and. Thank yep. you. Yeah. Thanks July for the 9th and 10th. July 9th and 10th, 2011. Perfect. Saturday and Sunday. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Linda.